Chanel, welcome to my channel, Everything About Everything, where I talk about everything about everything. I don't have one set topic, one set anything. I'm gonna give you what I wanna give you, okay? All right, so look, today, you guys know how I feel about the vaccine. If y'all seen my videos and all of that stuff about it, I'm not messing with it. However, one of my subscribers, which is shout out to y'all, my subscribers, y'all is lit as and if y'all new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. What y'all waiting for? Like, this is where you need to be, okay? We lit over here. This is my Carter Chanel community, okay? Y'all better tap in. So she sent me this thing. Um, she sent me this video from this doctor, Sunil, Dr. Sunil Sadat, or something like that. I'm going to drop his clip. Y'all, listen up, though. And it makes sense. Like, if we already have the antibodies and we get tested for the antigen for the COVID, if we are that already have the antibodies, will we need to get vaccinated? Because the vaccine will be giving us the antibodies to provide immunity. But if our natural antibodies are already built up for immunity, will we even need the vaccine? Y'all listen up to this dude, okay? All right, listen up. Hello, everybody. Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician with Common Sense COVID Doctor. If you've already had COVID-19, do you need the vaccine? This is an absolutely massive question right now. Think about it. It applies to millions of people who've already had COVID-19 since last year. I hear this question asked almost every other week, actually. And people want to know, obviously, how long they're protected for after a natural recovery and if or when they even need the vaccine. Now, the official advice from medical authorities, including Dr. Fauci himself, is to wait for at least 90 days, so about three months after a natural recovery before considering getting the vaccine. Now, I'm not sure where this 90 day number comes from. I think it may have been pulled out of thin air because we don't have much solid data to say when immunity starts to wane. But here's the thing, and I mentioned this in last week's video, if they are advising a vaccine after 90 days, does that not logically imply that the vaccine itself will not give you immunity for very long? Because as per my understanding, I'm not aware of a vaccine for any illness which will ever give you better and more long-term immunity than actually recovering from the illness yourself and having your own antibodies. So that's something to think about in this whole debate. If you don't have immunity after a natural recovery for anything longer than three months and a vaccine is probably not going to be any better than that. That's my understanding. I'm a doctor and therefore a de facto scientist. I'm all about rational, logical debate. If you know any differently or have any science to the contrary, please feel free to comment down below. Given that then, are there any other options available out there? If you're unsure, say you've waited about 90 days and you're wondering whether you should get the vaccine. I believe there is a really big one which is underutilized right now. Hardly anyone does it. And that is to simply have your antibodies tested. You can go to any clinic. You can go to your doctor and request an IgG antibody test. And if you already have antibodies for COVID-19 infection, then you very unlikely need the vaccine. As per my understanding, again, of how we usually practice medicine in my clinic, we are always testing antibodies for various illnesses like measles, mumps, rubella, varicella, hepatitis B. And if people already have antibodies, then we never give them the vaccine. So I'm not sure why it would change this time. And if I can use the analogy of it's a bit like saying, oh, uh, your nuclear bunker has failed. Here's a tent instead. Your nuclear bunker are your natural antibodies. And if you already have them, then the vaccine is not going to do any more for you than that. But we don't know when your natural immunity will start to wane. This is all something that we're getting more data on all the time. And another thing you may want to consider is whether or not you're in a high risk group. And it's perfectly understandable if you are in a high risk group, you may want to play it more safe. Say if you're elderly, you have a chronic medical condition, you have another condition, even if you're obese, which would predispose you to more severe COVID infection, then speak to your doctor and it's better to probably consider the vaccine sooner 
sooner rather than later. So these are all the factors to consider then. But the bottom line is the official advice right now is to wait for three months. But I would really recommend that you consider if you've recovered from COVID-19, getting the antibody test, having a discussion with your doctor, taking it from there. And this is more of a priority for high risk groups, like I said. Thanks for listening, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. I'm all about rational, logical debate and discussing the real science and the truth behind various issues. I'm not be beholden to any academic institution and I'm not about political correctness. I don't believe that's ever a good thing when it comes to scientific debate. Follow us on YouTube, on Facebook, MedStoic Lifestyle Medicine and Common Sense COVID Doctor. I will see you next time. Makes sense, right? That's what I'm saying. What y'all think? Leave in my comments. If y'all got more information on this or how that works, because you can still get the COVID after you've had COVID. You can still get the COVID after the vaccine. Me personally, if it came down to it, I I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to put it in the atmosphere. I don't even want to say what I was going to say. All right, y'all. Thank you for subscribing. Leave me some comments. Continue to like and comment and share my stuff. All right, y'all. Bye. D.A. got that dog.